Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's your favorite voice of nightmares speaking, and tonight, oh my god, I am coming back to YouTube with a firestorm. You people have absolutely no idea what I have in store. No idea. At all. We're not going to get into that, that tonight, but tonight what we're going to do is I'm going to sit back and read you some of the creepiest goddamn horror stories I've ever listened to in my life. Well, creepy stories in terms of one sentence horror stories. Alright, let's begin. The stories you are about to hear tonight are in no particular order. We hope you enjoy. I begin tucking him into bed, and he tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. I look underneath for his amusement, and see him, another him, under the bed, staring back at me, quivering and whispering, <laughs> Daddy, there's something on my bed. The doctors told the amputee he might experience a phantom limb from time to time. Nobody prepared him for the moments, though, when he felt cold fingers brush across his phantom hand. Don't be scared of the monsters. Just look for them. Look to your left, to your right, under your bed, behind your dresser, in your closet, but never look up. She hates being seen. They celebrated the first successful cryogenic freezing. He had no way of letting them know he was still conscious. I woke up to hear knocking on glass. At first, I thought it was the window until I heard it come from the mirror again. I can't sleep, she whispered, crawling into bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress she was buried in. The last man on earth sat alone in a room. There was a knock at the door. After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child, or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. Officer, I just looked away for a second and my baby was gone. <laughs> I sobbed helplessly. That's better. I sounded much more convincing this time. I thought with a smile as I finally picked up the phone to call the police. I found a dead body in my trunk today, which is strange because I remember putting two in there yesterday. I can't move, breathe, speak or here, and it's so dark all the time. If I knew it would be this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. The funeral attendees never came out of the catacombs. Something locked the crypt door from the inside. I just saw my reflection blink. I looked out my window. The stars had gone away. My wife woke me up last night to tell me there was an intruder in our house. She was murdered by an intruder two years ago. There was a picture in my phone of me sleeping. 
I live alone. It sat on my shelf with thoughtless porcelain eyes and the prettiest pink doll dress I could find. Why did she have to be born still? She wondered why she was casting two shadows. After all, there was only a single light bulb. You hear your mom calling you into the kitchen. As you are heading down the stairs, you hear a whisper from the closet saying, Don't go down there, honey. I heard it too. If you enjoyed this and would like to hear more stories like these, please go to www.youtube.com slash the voice of nightmares. Don't forget to give my video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content. Also, you can follow me now on social media sites such as Twitter, Mr. Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Wiki, and Instagram. Last but not least, all stories, art, and music are owned by their respective authors. Links are available in the description below.